So uh, I want to welcome you to uh, College Students with Learning Disabilities Speak. Uh, this is a, uh, a panel that consists of uh, college students with learning disabilities from New Jersey City University. Um, my name is Ladera Horn. I'll be uh, facilitating the panel. And I just want to say, uh, oh, let me see, uh, high, sc high school students, we got, how many high school students we got in the house? Okay, quite a few. So this is a, really, this is a really good opportunity. When I was in high school, I was in special ed, I was on an IEP. I didn't know about any of the options that were available to me you know, after high school. And so here you guys have a great opportunity, not only at this conference, but really here at this panel to be able to hear from people who are in your shoes and are now in college receiving services and doing well. So um, we're going to uh, start out by having everybody introduce themselves, say what their major is, and then we'll go from there to a series of prepared questions that I have. Um, everybody in the panel, or you know, they'll, they'll answer the questions they they feel drawn to answer, and then um, at the end of our our uh, our time, I'll try to save 10, 15 minutes to have questions and comments come from you. Um, so if you have any questions or comments that come up, you know, in your mind as everyone's talking, feel free to write them down or make a mental note, and then we'll get to those at the end. Sound good? Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll start with you, and just go on down. Okay. My name is Alexandra Torres. Um, I currently attend NJCU, and I'm undecided, as you know. My name is Nicole Moseson. I go to NJCU. I'm a bio major and a minor in chem. My name is Shana Burley. I attend NJCU, and my major is sociology. Got a bunch of mics. <laughs> I'm Chris Nevers. I attend NJCU, and I'm my name is Pia Barin. I go to NJCU and uh, my major is environmental science. Um, my name is Kristen Israel. I'm um, at NJCU and I'm a sociology My name is Carano DiVincenzo. I attend NJCU and my major is going to be psychology. My name is Juan Perez. Um, I am a psychology major and I'm a senior. All right, and again, I'm Ladera Horn. I went to uh, started college out at Middlesex County College in Central Jersey. Um, eventually transferred here to New Jersey City University. Graduated in 2003 uh, with an honors BA in mathematics, minor in fine art. Uh, own my own real estate investment company. I'm a poet, playwright, and a nationally recognized advocate for people with disabilities. I'm very happy to be back on campus. <laughs> So um, let's give a round of applause just to welcome our panel. Okay, so first question we have is, um, uh, well, we know the, the question is actually, what college do you, cur do you currently attend? Um, but uh, we all know that because they're all from Jersey City University. Um, but uh, the, so the question I'll ask is, why did you decide to come to this college, to this university? You guys, you know, there's... Uh, Nationally, internationally, you could have gone anywhere. So what made you come here? Yes, sir. The reason I chose NJCU, well, there was a lot of reasons, but the main reason was because of the Project Mentor Program, where they provide you with um, many accommodations and things you need in order to be successful. I was accepted after Hudson County Community, and as a result, I came here and found out about Project Mentor, which was a bonus, and I learned a whole lot of things for people with learning disabilities that I could have used in high school to be a more successful student. So one of the main reasons I came here was just because we had a nice computer program that I wanted, and then Project uh, Mentor was just a bonus when I came. So, so you came because of the major? And then you found out about the support you could get once you already... Yeah, I had no idea I had any of these rights or any kinds of rights to assistive technology besides a calculator. Okay. Very good. Anybody else? Yeah, um, I came to NJCU because my counselor told me it's a nice environment and I can get many programs for help and uh, assistance. And I wanted to come here too because in high school I, I had a little... I used to struggle a lot when I was in high school sometimes, so I think I, when I came to NJCU, I, I decided to take advantage of all the um, aides and tutors and mentors that, that helped me improve in my uh, school work. Okay. Um, I came 
came to NJCU for Project Mentor as well. All right. So let's, we'll go on to the next question. Um, I know that, uh, you know, we've got a real diverse group here. You know, some of you guys went to high schools where maybe you felt like you were completely prepared, you know, to make the transition to college. Maybe some of you didn't feel like you got the support you needed and just kind of, you know, made your way here. And, you know, we're lucky that you, you, you found this program and what have you. I'm curious, um, do you feel like your high school prepared you to go to college or to go to this university? Um, I would have to say my college did, I mean, my uh, high school did a really good job. Um, I came from uh, Central Jersey, a town called um, Bridgewater, and there, that high school system was, was, I would have to say it was really good. I mean, they had the support, they had all the teachers who were willing to help you get through, um, I mean, really good, really good school. The only one thing, though, is, is that, um, that the, that they didn't challenge us in writing, and I kind of was in shock when I came into NJCU because of the rap, and, you know, that was just one negative little thing, but I do understand NJCU's, um, rap exam is to make you a better writer because I've heard stories that, you know, people go into different colleges and they just, like, you know, go in their own high school ways, but NJCU challenges you to become a better writer, and that, so, I think, is really, you know, it, it, it's important. So just explain uh, to the folks what a rap exam is. It doesn't mean you're going to have the freestyle when you get here, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, a rap exam is, like, a, where you have to read a passage and write about it in an argumentative way, not persuasive, but, like, argue your point. And um, it's part of your part of your placement test, and you get into the school. Um, so, and there, and you know, there is a score levels and a certain area where you have to get into in order to pass and go into a remedial or either a English class. Okay. Anybody else? Sure. Um, I can relate um, to what he's saying because when I first came here. Um, well, actually, in high school, they didn't prepare me, like research papers. I never really wrote a research paper. I didn't know what MLA was, APA. Like, I didn't know any of that. So when I had to do the RAP exam, um, I didn't pass the first time. I didn't pass the second time. I didn't pass the third time. So I was on academic probation. And um, I had a lot of anxiety, and I was very scared and overwhelmed. But I, um, in turn, I became a better writer because I passed the RAP. I used, I think it was the WIN program, I think that was it, and um, it helped me because the WIN program is you write something and it repeats, whatever you write, it repeats it back to you. So that, I only used it once for the, um, the rap and it really did help me and I passed, but my writing became much better with the, um, the accommodation that I used. Okay, sure. In my experience, when I was in high school, every time I was put in a standard level class, uh, I had no idea what the teacher was speaking of, so they didn't prepare me because they wouldn't give me tutoring or I didn't know any of my rights. I had an IEP and went to meetings, so most of the time when I went to those classes, I would just go back into the special ed classes where I was apparently one of the smartest kids. So I was getting A's and B's, but I wasn't learning anything. Yeah. It was mostly stuff we covered in eighth grade. So when I graduated, I was still prepared for college life, and it, it was a struggle for the first six years of college in Hudson County community and the first few years here. Okay. Yes. I went to County Prep High School in Jersey City, and um, they prepared me, but I didn't so much prepare myself. I mean, like, right now in college, I struggle with math, and math, like, with, in college you have to pass, I think it's two math courses to go on and just to be done with math depending on your major but um in class it was there I had a good teacher but I wasn't there like I was just dazed and all I wasn't paying attention and now it, now I struggle with math now in college just because I, I was thinking of something else in class and just slacking off so in high school you just I'm just just my advice to give you to you is just know your math because you have to you have to pass on um, like requirements in college